I am on a hike today. Uh, we got weathered out, so we couldn't get back to McMurdo. So that was pretty cool to me, because uh, now we got a day to hike. But um, straight over that, we call that a regal. That resistant mountain ridge right there is camp. Probably another two miles on the other side. So I've come over that and down on. I'm in the upper lobe then of Lake Bonnie. And um, you probably recognize these little, uh, kind of like iceberg things that uh, we need to hop along and stay on the top of. But I am approaching a pretty good view of one of Antarctica's natural wonders. They call that Blood Falls. Pretty excited to get up there and see it. Um, it's made from uh, subglacial water, water underneath it that is super salty. Sorry, extruded out of the bottom of the glacier. It comes out of there. One of the minerals that comes out is iron. So as soon as it gets exposed to the air, it rusts. So that's what's giving it that uh, red color. But we're going to continue. So I'm, I'm closer to Blood Falls. You can see there's quite a big moat between me and uh, the falls. There, the edge of the ice and the falls. So I don't know if I'll be able to get a whole lot closer, but sure have a pretty view with that uh, little wonder up there. Pretty, pretty amazing. The ice is getting a little bit different consistency here, so I didn't really start watching, but like I mentioned, there's just open water just right out here in front, so we'll need to be a little bit more careful here now. Looks like a big chunk of the glacier just fell off and scattered that uh, ice down the hill. So we're going to give you one last shot here of Blood Falls. Here's another view. I moved over here just a little bit. Uh, some more of the ice but uh, what falls right there that's coming off the end of the uh, Taylor Glacier that's what this valley is named for that big glacier right there and there's my way back my pack is over there on the other side of that lake. So I will start my journey back and uh, hope you enjoyed our little trip to Blood Falls, Antarctica. Hey, I was on my way back and I found this a uh, little bit different view of the uh, falls up there. You can see how it's all terraced from here. It's got those steps on it. So just another view of this area. That's the end of uh, Taylor Glacier. So I've just about made it off of the ice. See blood falls over there and I've made it across probably uh, maybe half a mile over here. There's my pack right over there on the shore. So this is kind of the sketchy part. That's the part we call the moat. That is where the lake ice, which is super thick, 12 feet or so, it's not quite touching the shore. And then uh, we've got this open water that uh, we call the moat. It was frozen over pretty good when I went through, so not real concerned, but I'm gonna try to cross through in the very same spot right here. It's a little thin chandelier. And um, I think I'll go over here this way a little bit. And this, this could go through, you can see right there, 
there's a little bit of air space underneath this we prefer not to break through it could be a shin scraper and sometimes there's pools of water underneath that so we'll try to avoid that and see if we could uh, get ourselves back on see that little crash there back on to dry land we'll take a little look here and see which way looks the best I think it's a little thin we've got to get to that last little moat right there where we cross through Kind of a thin little spot there. Let's see if that'll hold me now up here on top. Huh. Aiming that way. See if we can get right across this right here and get up onto dry land. So here we go. Feels pretty stable. I can see brown, which means it's not over my head anymore. It's sounding weak. There it is, on the ground. Trip accomplished, visit to Blood Falls, and cross the moat. We'll go up here, get the pack, get the stabilizers off of the feet, and head for home. So, it's been a fun little hike today. Hadn't been too bad of a deal that we got uh, weathered out and couldn't get a helicopter ride back to McMurdo. Had a good time here. See you later.